We have another request today, but from Rayla, this is Leet Street. Um, and unlike uh, the other map that I did from him, um, 6006v6, I have played this map before. Anyway, um, when they first suggested it, uh, I thought that this uh, map was familiar, like even the name. But yeah, the moment I played it, yeah, I, re I completely remember this one. And this is uh, a pretty fun little tight map for like, you know, just a, like a few minutes of deathmatch frenzy. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm not really a big fan how we're just in a void, apparently. But, you know, the rest of the map, while, you know, basic, is aesthetically competent. Um, so first I'm gonna show you the street itself, which, at first, you look at this and think, well, is that it to this map? Well, the thing is, is that you could go into certain buildings. And thankfully, the author, I think the name of the author is Campy, um, actually marked which buildings you can go into by, if it's cracked like this, you can't. If it's not, you can, and you go, you just walk through and you get some supplies. Like that, as such. There's some cute little things to check out there. Don't put a snark on yourself by accident, that's never good. And it adds a little bit of dynamicism. If I could hit the snark! Go away. There we go. Um, Add some dynamics to the map because you could break through windows and like, you know, have a place to get down really fast. So we got another building over here. They tend to... I remember he, they tend to give you... Um, does this do anything? No. They tend to give you the crossbow in all these areas, but I think one of them at least has the gauze gun as well. So yeah, we're on the other side of the street now. It basically is like, you know, they just put kind of like the windows you end up breaking put you back to the main street here. This one's a double door, because why not? Thankfully, the rooms all look a little bit different. I forgot this one has two ways to go, though. So that's pretty good. Now, you might be wondering, what else is there? Well, there's one more thing of note here. You can get on the roofs, actually, by gauze jumping, or you might actually just spawn up here sometimes. And each of them got some goodies, too. Like, a lot of them have, have the magnums. You got cover with the vent ducts, which I think is cool. This is where you get the rocket launcher. I forgot it was up here. And, yeah, another revolver, another set, and, yeah, that's about it for the map. As I've said, I have have played this one before, and while not my, like, you know, all-time favorite, this is actually, like, really good for such a small, like, basic map. Uh, it shows that sometimes you don't need a whole lot of, like, you know, to go on to make a map that's really interesting. So let's play. <laughs> Inspired choice to put the shotgun on the busiest part of the area. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if there's a uh, Egon in this uh, map though. It'd be nice though.
What curse has befallen this city that, like, you know, a chunk of it's just floating in the endless void? I wonder. You know, I know it's probably just because the mapper, Campy, didn't feel like designing, like, a gigantic city backdrop and rather focus on, like, you know, making a good map. But, you know, it's one of those things that if I was really bored, I'd try to write up a story or something really stupid to try to explain it. The, the, the gods have been, just, like, angered because of our capitalist ways. So they got Cthulhu to come and, like, pretend this is, like, the nether realm. I don't know. <laughs> Elite Street. Now, you know, not the most technically interesting, but, you know, this is really good old school to shoot the hell out of everything right here. Also, that car is very, very blocky. Probably because it's the gold source engine. Also, the way that those guys are just kind of running in place there makes me feel warm and tingly. 